so guys, uh, I can help you to fix your ticking noise issue if you have BMW N55 or N54 engine and you have ticking uh, noise from the lifter so uh, it could be possible that, that only one lifter is bad and you have ticking noise so if you have bad lifter you will have um, uh, bad lifter damages the crank, uh, the camshaft and you, and you will see on the camshaft a lot of uh, small small dents so uh, uh, it is possible to to maintain and clean the lifter and i'm going to show you how to do that so you take the lifter and you need to put to take uh, the liquid first i'm using the diesel uh, fuel or some degreaser it doesn't matter so the most important thing uh, you need to take a very small uh, drill bit something like that and here is the hole at the top of the lifter here is here is the hole you need and uh, you need to put this drill bit inside this hole and just move it left and right and you will find the one button small, small button and here is the second hole as you can see here's the second hole where the oils oil will go out so you need to press it press that press that um button and you will am able to to uh, to release to take out the oil from the lifter so as you can see the lifter uh, is empty now so it is empty as you can see i can press it now i can press it now it's moving easily so by doing that first you need to uh, to take off old oil, oil to drain the oil from the lifter then you need to put the lifter like that in the in the uh, some uh, degreaser or uh, li some liquid acetone or diesel fuel and do the same and press it inside that liquid by doing that you will feel how it will be primed and uh, after that if you uh, i'm using right now the transmission fluid but first time you can use the degreaser and after you prime it it is hard as you can see it is already hard so you and you can li leave it for one night one day uh, and all carbon deposit which is inside the lifter will be dissolved and after that after you after you dissolve the carbon deposit inside the lifter you can uh, uh, prime the you can prime the lifter inside the transmission fluid or the regular oil it doesn't matter so why i'm using the transmission fluid because transmission fluid um, also will clean the carbon deposit the rest of the carbon deposit so i like to use the transmission fluid for these purposes so as you can see here is here is a uh, two lifter which I primed already, and here is the lifter with the uh, with the uh, diesel fuel inside. I'm gonna show you. So it has completely another color. Look. So I dra I need to drain the diesel from the lifter, and it is. I, I'm, I can press and it is, it is empty inside. So now I will take this uh, drill bit, put inside the transmission fluid and, pr and press it a few times, maybe 10 times. And now, and now it is hard. So it is hard so uh, that's how you can prime the lifter and clean the carbon deposit and maintain your lifters uh, and it works perfectly especially you if you refurbish your engine you don't know which of the lifter is bad so you need to replace all of them which is very expensive if you replace 24 of them but it's very cheap just to to take the diesel fuel or some acetone and, and um, prime it with the 
acetone or diesel, leave it for uh, one night and prime with the uh, prime with the normal oil or transmission fluid again. And now the lifter is ready for for installation. So sometimes if you and also how to check that if you take took the lifter off from your uh, car and you feel that the lifter is uh, doesn't hold the uh, oil you will feel that it is uh, it you will able to press it but after you clean it it should hold the oil like that so it should be hard in few st in few uh, you pump it few times you pump it few times and it should be hard and this is how I you need to do it all 24 all of them and um, your lifters will be ready for the installation and it's very very important when, when you refurbish your engine so oh, this is hard few times only and it is already hard